If you'll notice, the RAM is actually soldered onto the motherboard on the X502CA, unlike the X501. The Getting the keyboard off was almost the same, actually it was exactly the same as taking it off the X501 in another video that I'll be linking in the notes. This board is obviously a lot smaller than that one. Um, the fan is over here as opposed to over there. But other than that, um, getting it apart was the same. I was able to replace the hard drive with a hybrid from Seagate, the one terabyte. Um, I was really hoping to upgrade the RAM, but as you can see, it's soldered onto the board. The battery is built in on this one, 7.4 volt. 5136 milliamp hours, 38 watt hours. There's another thing to note here on the motherboard, it actually says this is the X402CA right here, as opposed to the X502. I don't know what that's about. Wireless card is over here. You'd have to undo the screws to get to it. I don't have a card to replace it, otherwise, I'd have pulled the motherboard out. And that is the inside of the computer. Um, Display connector, the USB power board is over here with the little aluminum coated cable, I guess, to keep the signal from leaking out. And that is everything.